Another stem disease that we're going to talk about is Dutch elm disease. Now this particular disease has an insect vector associated with it. So many of the things that we're looking for to try and identify Dutch elm disease are actually looking at the evidence that the insect has been there. One way to certainly figure out if you have Dutch elm disease is one of the first things that you may see is you have an elm leaf that is wilting and that's a classic symptom of Dutch elm disease. It will cause wilting and sometimes it will call, cause yellowing of the leaves and then wilting and, and then the tree. What, what's happening is the fungus is blocking the water conducting vessels so the tree can't bring water to the tree. Excuse me, the roots can't bring water to the tree. Uh, so we may see wilting on the leaves. The other thing we may see, if you take a small branch and you peel away the bark, you'll see some staining. And what's happening here is the fungus is staining the, the uh, internal xylem and it's gray to brown. If we were to have a branch here that uh, did not have Dutch elm disease, it would be creamy, pure white. So this staining here is is very uh, common uh, symptom of Dutch elm disease. The other thing associated, if you look closely, we see some insect galleries. And these particular insect galleries are from the insect that is actually moving the fungus around. And this is uh, actually Scolitis multistriatus. And it's called that because it makes the gallery that goes up and down with the wood and uh, it lays its eggs and all the insects scatter and it's multi-striations. And, and we have another example here. There's also another insect vector associated with this, and this is the native elm bark beetle. Unlike where the uh, Scolitis malstratus goes up and down, the native elm bark beetle goes across the bark. So what we have here is the uh, Scolitis multistratus going up and down, and then we have the native elm bark beetle going back and forth, and this is on the inside of the bark. So when you see these two insect galleries associated with elm bark, you can pretty much assume you have Dutch elm disease. Uh, and here's the inside where we've removed the bark and you can see all the galleries and we have both multi-striatus on here going up and down and we have the native arm elm bark beetle going back and forth and uh, we also have a very teeny tiny insect which uh, if you were to take a hand lens you would you could see the uh, scolitis multi-striatus tiny little insect associated with Dutch elm disease so we would see wilting on the elm we may see yellowing on the elm, we may see staining on the xylem, and we would see the gallery, the two gallery patterns, up and down and across, and that would be Dutch elm disease.